Yeah, Pawan. Tell me about yourself. My name is Jaswant Pons. I am from Andhra Pradesh. I recently completed my Bachelor of Technology in the stream of Electronics and Communication with a percentage of 70%. That's it? Yes. Right. So, tell me how much you rate yourself in Core Java? Out of 10? Up to the topics uh, I covered, uh, I rate out of 10. Up to the topics. 10 by 10. Yes. Right. So, let's begin with uh, Core Java only. Yes. Right. Tell me what is the purpose of exception handling? General exception is an unwanted event which occurs in my program which stops the graceful termination which means the program <coughs> terminates abnormally. Okay. So to hand to get the graceful termination which is successful termination I need to handle the exception. How do I know that uh, it is going to terminate uh, gracefully I mean it is an abnormal termination. Yes, sir. How do I know? The program terminates uh, breaks middle of the middle of the code. Okay. Yes. So, what you are supposed to do? I, I will I will handle the exception by using try catch blocks. Okay. To get the successful termination. So, in line number fifteen, you are going to get an exception. Then, what you are do, going to do? I keep the line number fifteen in the try block. Okay. To handle the exception, uh, I need to write catch block. Okay. If uh, the code uh, which I am writing in the try block, which consists of ten lines. Yes. Okay. Try block consists of ten lines. Yes. So, those 10 lines uh, of uh, try block which is having multiple exceptions, how you are going to handle it? In try block, uh, I will write multiple try and catch blocks for every exception which calls. Okay. So, in the same catch block, you will write multiple exceptions? No, sir. For, a, for each and every exception, uh, I need to write uh, individual catch blocks. For every exception, you are going to write a separate catch block? Yes. Okay. Right. So, any any idea about how, what is the order you are going to write the catch block? Catch block generally follows the child exception then followed by parent exception. Okay. Fine. Tell me what is the difference between throw and throws? Bo throw and throws are both are keywords. Throw is used to satisfy the compiler. When, com when sometimes compiler gives uh, checked exceptions, so we need to satisfy the compiler to execute the program. The throw is a keyword uh, which is used to throw the exception ex explicitly. Okay. So, explicitly, how you are going to send it uh, manually? The throw new is equal to exception names. Okay. Tell me what is custom exception? Java does not provide uh, all the exceptions. If we want uh, an exception based on our requirement, uh, we need to create custom exceptions. Okay. If you are doing multiple multiple uh, inheritance through classes, classes there is a confusion. Yes. So what you are going to do? So you are not going to write the multiple inheritance in Java. Yes. That means Java is not having multiple inheritance. In case of classes, not. Possible. Okay. In case of classes, is not possible. How it is possible then? In case of interfaces. Interfaces. Okay. So interfaces, it is possible. Yes. So, what you are going to write it in the interface? Abstract methods showing the specification, hmm. but not implementation. Yes, tell me the difference between marker interface and uh, functional interface. Marker interface is interface which does not have any kind of methods. Okay. It gives the specific specification by only with the name itself. Okay. Functional interface contains only one abstract methods and can contain any number of default and uh, private methods, static methods. Okay. Tell me something about lambda expression. Not complete. Okay. Right. How about collections? List complete. Only list? Yes. Okay. So, you are familiar with array list and linked list? Yes, sir. Tell me the difference. Array list, all the methods are non-synchronous. Linked list methods are also non-synchronous. Mm -hmm. Array list mainly used for retrieving the data. Mm -hmm. Linked list is mainly used for uh, insert, inserting the elements in the middle of the list. Okay. So, let's get into uh, the debate of uh, JavaScript. Okay. Tell me in JavaScript, uh, how many types we can declare a variable? Three types. Okay. Where, let, constant. Okay. Where keywords declare with the where. And, uh, for where, where, where type variables. Uh, yeah, feel free to write something code. For where type variables, <coughs> uh, 
Redeclaration and reassignation re is both possible. For let type keywords only reassignation is possible. Constant uh, both uh, reassignation and uh, redeclaration is not possible. Okay. Constant variable is like a final variable in my Java. So somewhere I have seen what is meant by a hoisting? Mm -hmm. Us usage of the variable before its declaration is called concept of hoisting and okay. it is only possible for where keyword. Okay, not possible for let and constant. Actually, it's possible, but uh, they are in temporal red zone, so we cannot access them before declaration. Fine. So somewhere I have seen uh, trialing. There is a word called trialing. Yes. In trialing objects. Hanging. In objects yeah. trialing. What is that? Uh, whenever we create an object, JavaScript uh, provides the trialing support, which means we can add uh, another elements uh, after the object declarations. Okay. Explain something about uh, callback. What is the purpose of it? Calling one function and another function is the concept of callback. Mm. <clears throat> Generally, we need to go for callback uh, if the if my if my function depends on another function, there is a dependency. Mm. Generally, for a scenario, I have one function and the function have function two. The function two depends on function one. Mm. Generally, Java is uh, asynchronous in nature. Uh, if the function one takes more time, the um, the JavaScript engine does not wait for the function one to execute completely. It goes for okay. execution of another function. Okay. Okay, Bob. Done. Thanks. Thanks.